Alright, welcome to the channel. Today we have a Carcano bolt that isn't behaving. So basically, uh, this is all a bit cramped, I'm sorry about that, but basically the extractor is meant to extract the case and it doesn't. Oh god. It had to be on a Carcano as well. So what it is, this extractor is meant to be down like that and it doesn't, it pushes outward. Now I've hit it with some WD-40. That's the trouble when you buy something from auction. Everybody's fiddled with it. God knows what somebody tried to do to this poor thing. So I have to try and bend this back, which means I have to remove the extractor, which on a Kakano isn't easy. They're actually peened in place over here. Some are there. So, gosh almighty, somewhere there. Oh, I'm dreading this. But um, I've got no other way of bending it other than to remove it. So what happens... I'm gonna have a bloody good look at this thing, I'll tell you that. See, there's a pin there, but I think that's just for gas. <laughs> I think I'll disassemble it and we'll go from there. All right, let's push this. Uh... So we untwist the rear. Oh, be cooperative. Come on, girl. I like that. Flipping out. Down and around. That's you off. Now we'll have this this guy here is held on over there. You can see the pin, so let's push you down. Around it goes. Oh no, it doesn't go like that. It must be the other way then. There's a the little gap. Up that comes. There's the spring. There's the pin. Oh wow, somebody really oiled that. That was not me. Oh, the state of this Christ. Uh, let's give it a quick clean. And the top. Alright, the firing pin looks okay. That's good. Let's put you to one side. Let's put you over there, you over there. Don't need you. This little twisty thing there. Okay, right. So... What does that hole do? What do you do? What's the purpose of you? What is the purpose of you? Okay, let me find a torch. I'm always nervous when there are things that I don't know. Look at you. No, I think that's just a straight through hole. I don't know its purpose, but it's not connected. I assume it's for gas. Maybe it's gas. Yeah, it's probably from when you ever a case head separation. This bit goes off that all the gases vent out instead of into the shooter's face. That's all right. That means it's got nothing to do with the extractor. So, how do I get the extractor out? I bet I'm gonna have to chisel you. All right, let's see what we can do here. Okay, so we're back. Let me find my engineering drawers. Let's put you in there. So, that, that holds nicely. Okay, let's give you another whack, shall we? Uh, 
ideally want a sharper punch. you out of there. Don't tell me I have to drill a hole. That's stupid. That has not moved a smegging inch. Well, if we can't push, let's see if we can pull. <sighs> this really pinged in. What can I do with you? Oh, for flipping hell. Let's try the ever traditional screwdriver. Oh, that's too large. That's too large. Oh, that's got it. There we go. Okay, we got it to shift. So what I'm doing is uh, I'm levering with a screwdriver in the front against the bolt face. It's not nice, but come on. Okay, let's raise you up a little bit. We have one over you. That might be a bit much. All right, there we are. Okay, yeah, see, it's just a build-up of grit. So uh, you have to lever the guy back to get over the bump, but the rear of it, this part, is actually hammered in place. I know, but it's Italian. What do you want from me? Okay. And then we have you. And this is the counterpart over here, so it's in that groove there. But you can see the crap in there. I've been at it with contact cleaner and oil, but I wasn't going to be able to clean that out. Okay, step one, I'm happy. Let's reposition and clean everything up. So, see you in a jiffy. Alright, so let's start off with some contact. Actually, screw that. Let's just start with the cotton butt and get the worst of it out. Ooh, wonderful. To be fair, there is actually still grease in there. So, uh, so that's dirt, grease, I don't know. I mean, the one positive thing I would say is there's no rust, so whatever they've shot with it isn't corrosive. Okay, so that's you. Now comes Mr. Contact Cleaner. Oh. Come on, seriously? Like that. Oh my lord, I even got the camera with that piece of crap. Alright, let's clean you up. That is so frustrating, I really did not need that today. Okay, now let's look at this guy. 
so you can even see it it's slightly bent backwards now there are some people that complain that these things are brittle I don't actually think they're as brittle as all that but uh, to be fair I've not found a single video of somebody actually chiseling these down or levering these things out of their gun so I hope this is going to be interesting for you let's clean you up Let's contact cleaner you up in case you are in a similar predicament that when I'm at. That, that, and that. Now I would say that I don't think this is something you can casually do on a like range. I think this is something you need to do at home. Let's give you a twist. I wonder whether I need to grind you back a little bit. It's difficult to judge, isn't it? But see, it's definitely arched up. Oh, this fills me with all levels of foreboding. Trying to bend this damn thing. Ah. Okay. Let's clean you up while we're here. This is what basically, this is the bit that I leave it against. Um, with my little screwdriver get in there and lever against the bolt face that's the only way I got it out I tried uh, using a punch in the rear I mean you can even see it but that was not successful I could not get enough purchase so a bit more contact cleaner Let's see if I get all the crap off it Okay, so basically what I'm going to have to do now, ugh, I'm going to have to find a way of very gently bending this in such a way that uh, it'll go back in there and instead of arcing backwards, see I mean even now you can see it, it should really be it should be forward like that. Instead, it wants to arc backwards. So we'll have to bend you. I'm almost wondering whether. Oh, I don't think I want to drill a bolt face, but I might file you. See if you have a look. Um, You have a look right, right over here. There is a little lip there. Yeah, it is there. I'm just wondering whether I'm going to file that a little. You know what? I think I will. Oh, Ten million little files. Let's see what we have that has a nice and square edge. <laughs> oh, sorry. Holy moly, my shit's coming apart. Yeah, see, that's a little better. That's that lip gone anyway. I'm not sure, there's actually quite some hard metal here. Not sure I'm doing very much, but I'm not going to grind it. See, so this here, the back of that basically rubs against this space here. I mean, there is an argument. If uh, if it doesn't go down cleanly, that I take a bit of that off there, so that it'll canter down a bit more. But I think one or not, the next step has got to be to bend this bloody ejector. Oh, God almighty, that sounds breaky, doesn't it? You can just see this thing snap. And I have to bend it in the right place, which is clearly 
somewhere near here where it's narrowest. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this would be this is this is nothing in the states where you have shops everywhere where they'll send you a replacement. This is the UK. Nobody here has a replacement for one of these. I'd be surprised if there are more than a f more than a few hundred of these guns in the country. <sighs> I don't know. Well, needs must. <clears throat> Let's grab a little bit of sandpaper. This is 1,200. Just checking the fit of that claw against the case. But that's actually still pretty good. It's pretty sharp. And I could try if I can clean that up a little bit. I think I'd have to grind that. I have to say, I do not feel a need to do that in the slightest. I think that's all right. See, I could almost put a little bit more bend on that front, but again, I think it's excessive. It's actually okay. I really don't, I don't think I'm gonna have much in the way of stuck cases with this. I think we'll be all right. Okay, well, let's just see if I can bend this. Question is, do I put this in the vise and apply gentle pressure? Or do I just bend it on the... Uh... The other question is, I mean, I could warm it up a little bit. I mean, I'm not saying I'm going to make it glowing hot, but I could just put a little bit of warmth in it. You know, maybe take a little bit of the brittleness away from it. But you have to be careful. Parts like these are lightly tempered. And uh, although this strikes me as pretty bendy still, but if it is tempered, then um, adding a even a little bit of heat, well, I can't take that little heat. Uh, might make a little bit of a halfway house here. Hang on a minute. All right, so what I have here is I have a bit of steel. I don't even know what I used that for. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of heat into that. I mean, again, just a little bit. And I'm going to put my extractor on that and that'll warm up my extractor without me being in danger of overheating it. And then when it's nice and warm I'll have a gentle go at bending it. I think that's probably the best thing I can do. And it'll give me the greatest chance of success. Okay, let's have some fun then. Let's blow this thing up. Okay, so so what I'm going for here is I'm, I'm not going for for like hot. I'm not going for glowing uh, glowing steel. I'm going for something that uh, if you imagine you do a lot of firing and uh, you know your your gun heats up. Your gun is too warm to touch. I'm going for that sort of heat. You know, because I don't think. That is going to ruin the temper, if this thing has any temper. Yeah, that's nice. That's good, you can touch it, you won't burn yourself. Right, next question is how do I bend this? Ooh, do I get a vice out? I mean, what I could do is I could put it in the vice. Mm. 
think I'll just do a little bit by hand and get a feel for it. I think that's probably my best bet, isn't it? Alright, let's see where we're at. Yeah, that's a good temperature. That's just, that's just, it's a, it's a good warm, you know, it's not a, oh my god, this is hot. It's kind of like a, you could probably just about hold it. I think that's where we're at. Let's give that a gentle bend. I don't know, you know, now I'm looking at it. I can't help thinking I might actually have to do it more in this area. See, there's a bit of a, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little bit of a gap there, so I might have to do it slightly further back where the metal is thickest rather than where it's thinnest. Well, then I will need a vise. Right. I will try it with the engineering clamps. I have a feeling that's not going to be uh, that's not going to be uh, giving me enough strength, but maybe it will. What I might do actually. Where are we? Are we still somewhere near warmish? Yeah, we are. Okay, what I might actually do Where's that shop stick of mine? See, I might actually use the rubber here to my advantage. So what I'm doing is uh, I'm getting the rubber of the engineering clamps to bend around the chopstick and that way I have really nicely distributed weight all over the extractor and I'm not just bending in one place like you would if you put your thumb on it. Uh, let's have a look. Where are you? Are you sure you're not? <laughs> Okay, that hasn't achieved anything. Let's do it again. Yeah, that's nice. So let's do that again. This time, I'll try putting on a little bit more pressure. Alright, let's try you. Again. So that's to all the way up. I think that's actually an improvement. Let's do it one more time over here. Oh, that's probably as much as I dare. <laughs> After too much, there's a lot of work to do. So let's not go to too much. I yeah, see that's quite a lot of strain on here already. Okay, that's as much as I'll do, I think. Let's bring you back open. Let's see where we are. And that actually looks a lot better. So we are now somewhere near straight. But I don't think that's enough yet. I want to give it a bit of a positive bow forward because I'm going to have to overstretch it the other way again, just to get it back into the bolt face. So we'll do this again. Okay. I think what I'll do this time, oh, I'll still, uh, I'll move my little chopstick further a little bit. So uh, instead of uh, trying to put the pressure back here, I might move it a slightly little bit further forward. That's good. Okay, let's try that. I mean, we are bowing it. There's no argument with that. I might actually give you a quick shot. So this is basically then my bowing rig. I'll have to put you directly above. I hope you can see that. 
Yeah, you can't, not with a stick in the way. So, uh, but this part is down, that part over there is down, and the rear is up a little bit. Okay, let's give it a little bit more. starting to think I'm not achieving anything here. I might have to be a little bit more aggressive. And that really scares me. We have a new champion. I have found a bit of plastic that I think is going to be strong enough to take that bending force. So let's try you. So in goes our bit of plastic. In goes our bit of metal. Put you in the middle this time. And this time I can take a video for you. Okay, so this is where we are now. You can see the extractor in there, it's being bent. So uh, life is good in theory, but the trouble is I've bent it like this now six or seven times, so I'm going to give it a little extra. Okay, so let's put you down for this. I don't want you in my hand in case this gets wrong, goes wrong, and I need to throw something. All right, let's give it a bit more. Ooh. All the way to upwards, and an eighth of a turn more. Wow. Well, Bloody hell, how is this? Alright, so that is uh, as brave as I am at this moment. We'll have a look how that does. And then if this hasn't done it, I'll turn the handle all the way down next time around. So, let's untwist. Sorry, I know this is a very wobbly video, but I'll edit it down. Okay, so. So that's three quarters of a turn, one and three quarters of a turn, two and three quarters of a turn. Okay, there's our little plastic grommets. And... Uh, still only a mil. I don't know, you know, I'm going to do it one more time. This time, instead of doing two and three quarters turns, I'm going to go a solid three. Yeah, has to be done. I mean, the alternative is I could try fitting it, but I just don't think we're there yet. Okay, in goes my clamp. Okay, here we go. So that is. Two, two and a half, two and a quarter, that's insane. Oh, I've got my eyes are watering. Come on, girl, you can hold it. Okay, let's show you what I've got. So we now look something like that. <laughs> Let's see whether that's changed its shape. Okay, out you come. One, two, three. That's three full turns. I already can see it springing back. 
Uh, we're up to about a mil and a half now, I guess, roughly. I might just try putting it in and seeing how we look. I know the done thing is to lift it up to push it back, but I'm really worried about overbending it. So I'm going to see if I can get it in there largely just by pushing it back. Oh, fuck me, that's in there tight. Oh, gosh. Oh, I'm never going to get that in there. Okay, we are in. Oh, where's my case? Hot, 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 hot. Where's my case? There's my case. Ah, oh, Fandango, I think that's good enough. So there, that's my case inside. And then it'll eject out. It'll hop over and it'll hold. Okay, let me get the gun and I'll see if I can feed this case into it. And we'll see how we look. One minute. Welcome back. So, we've got a bolt here. I've reassembled it. I don't think you need to see that. It's all pretty boring and standard. We will reinsert you like that. I've made myself some snap caps. Blue is my inert color in this shed. Inert in the rear. All primers fired. One. Two, three, and then we'll feed you in like that. And I think that looks pretty good. I think the uh, the the stripper clip uh, feeds uh, quite cleanly in, so I'm happy with that. And now we'll see whether it works. Well, it feeds all right. That's a great start. Let's open it up again. Oh yes, look at that. And, uh-huh, lovely, one last one, and there goes our stripper clip, and that looks great. Okay, so the test there worked, we have closed the bolt all the way, and when we opened it up, the case is ejected. This time I'm not going to close the bolt all the way, I want to see if the uh, cases feed under the extractor. So instead of the extractor hopping over the end of the case, we ideally want to feed the cases underneath the extractor. So let's feed the cases in, that looks good. And that was a bit much. But yeah, we do, we actually just feed underneath the extractor. Oh, come out of there now. Good riddance. And there's the last one. So that's good news. So I'm really pleased with that. That was a good repair. I'm not sure what else there's to say. I mean, I, I really didn't need this today. And um, but I'm I'm glad it's done. I'm glad it worked. You know, it'll uh, improve your DIY repair repertoire. Um, yeah, they supposedly peen it while it's in there, but. Um, I don't think I'll hammer that. I think that actually looks pretty good. And the front, like that, my extractor works fine. Okay, I hope that was interesting. Bye bye from us. Bye.